Level up your ground beef and zucchini with Asian sauces to make a really delicious meal that will totally satisfy. Simple ingredients for the win. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. Now when I say it's simple food, I really do mean simple. With really simple ingredients, you can have a really, really great meal and it doesn't take much. Today we're adapting my recipe for minced beef and peas that can be found in my new cookbook, Daily Special, because we're using zucchini today. Let's face it, not everybody loves peas, but well, not everyone loves zucchini either, but we're gonna switch things up and use zucchini today. I'm gonna start with marinating my ground beef. So I have a pound of ground beef. I'm adding two teaspoons of cornstarch. The cornstarch is used to velvet the meat. And actually in this case, it does help with uh, thickening the gravy a little bit more. So the cornstarch is great for that. Adding two teaspoons of soy sauce. This is just regular soy sauce. And two teaspoons of rice wine. Now you can use Shaoxing wine here. The recipe in the book does call for Shaoxing wine, but I just decided to use a rice wine today. They do have a little bit of a different flavor, but you can use whichever one you prefer. And I'm adding a tablespoon of vegetable oil. I'm just gonna mix all this up by hand and we're gonna let it marinate for about 10, 15 minutes, just enough time to get the other ingredients ready to go. Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside. I'm also going to prepare my sauce. I have one cup of beef broth. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. Just want that to dissolve. So adding one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. And dark soy sauce is, well, darker than regular soy sauce. And it just adds to a deeper, rich brown color. And I'm adding three tablespoons of oyster sauce. And the oyster sauce is where we're gonna get most of the flavor that we want in the sauce. If you're allergic to oysters or you don't wanna use oyster sauce, you can um, find a vegan form of oyster sauce that is made out of mushrooms. You just wanna stir this up and we'll set this aside as well. When you have all the basic Asian sauces like I used in the recipe today, ready to go in your cupboards, dinner will be delicious every single time. I'm using a very small onion today and we're just gonna cut it up into, um, I guess, cubes because our zucchini, I'm gonna cut up in cubes. So with the peas in the recipe, I chopped up the onion smaller because the peas are smaller and it's all about the mouthfeel. So we're gonna keep these pieces about the same as the zucchini and that will improve the mouthfeel. I have two and a half cloves of garlic. Well, actually three cloves, but it's just a little one. And I am going to take out the little sprout that is sprouting inside because my mother-in-law told me that it actually adds a bitter flavor. So I'm just gonna remove it. It's really easy to remove. It comes right out just like that. Oh my goodness, the cats are gone nuts. I think they have the hangries. <laughs> oh, my Atlanta. Okay, and then we're just gonna chop it up. I hope you guys can see that it's really easy to just adapt to my recipes. You don't have to use everything that's listed in the ingredients. And oftentimes, I can't even follow my own recipes. So it's good to just use ingredients that you like to use, but you can use the recipes as a guideline. Okay, just setting that aside. And I'm using one large zucchini. Well, it's not that large. My grandmother used to grow her own zucchinis and sometimes they're like the size of a baseball bat. Wow. <laughs> I guess this is a normal size zucchini. So I'm just gonna cut them into about one inch chunks. I'm heating up my wok on medium high heat. Okay, once you see that wisp of smoke, so when you add your oil, I'm adding a tablespoon of oil. 
I'm gonna toss my ground beef in there. I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit and just let it sear on one side just for about a minute. If you don't have a wok, you can always do this in a large frying pan, but I like to use the wok because it just gives me enough area to stir all my ingredients together. Try to sear the other side as well before moving it around. This just adds a little extra flavor to the dish. It's not essential, but it just, like I said, adds a little bit more flavor. You know, people ask me about my wok all the time, and unfortunately, I bought this wok in Chinatown over 20 years ago, and it is um, handcrafted stainless steel, and it is stainless steel, not carbon steel. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find one to recommend for you guys, so but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. Then we just wanna cook this through. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Just gonna remove the beef. And we're gonna set that aside. Okay, turning the heat back on to, I'm gonna turn it down, to, well, turn it up only to medium now. And we're gonna put our zucchini and our onions in there. We're not adding any more oil because there was enough oil coming out of the beef and from the vegetable oil that we added earlier. I'm just gonna stir fry this for about three to five minutes until the vegetables are tender. While my vegetables are still cooking, I'm just gonna make a cornstarch slurry to thicken the gravy. And so I want about a tablespoon of cornstarch. About a tablespoon of cool water. Remember your water has to be cool so that the cornstarch will dissolve. It won't dissolve in hot water. All right. Veggies are looking very tender. I'm gonna add my ground beef back in. I'm going to push the mixture aside and we're going to add our sauce. And wait for that to simmer. Oh, I totally forgot to add my garlic. Oh. It's sitting right there too. Okay, don't be like me. Remember to add your garlic before you add the beef back in. I'm going to put it to the side where I can see that it's still sizzling. Maybe try to cook it up a little bit. That's fine. You'll heat up with the sauce. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. And adding the cornstarch slurry back in. Not back in, just add it in. And give it a stir. And it'll thicken up the sauce. And that's it, look at that. Turning off the heat, and you can see that the sauce is thickened nicely. And we're just gonna put it back in that bowl that I had the beef in. Serve this on top of rice. And it'll be so yummy. I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper and a teaspoon of sesame oil. And there you go. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It does. Are you all ready for? Definitely. This is going to be good, the taste. This is hot rice. This is good. So much sauce. As I've said many times before, guys, there's nothing like a super saucy dish to go with your rice, because it's gonna be awesome. Nothing fancy about this meal. 
but it's gonna be awesome. Right, simple food. Technique, simple. Food, simple. Taste, not so simple. It's hot, hot. Mmm, zucchini cooked perfectly. Just tender enough without disintegrating in your mouth. Same with the onions. Beef is so flavorful. Definitely not dry, saucy. So satisfying. Can you tell that I put the garlic in at the wrong time? No. <laughs> no, but seriously, I can't tell. It's just overall aroma, awesome. Just really tasty and you just want to shovel more into your mouth, like more. Awesome, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. See, no one can tell that I forgot to add the garlic and then added it later. It's fine. To check out my original recipe, minced beef and peas, see my new cookbook, Daily Special.